Hello, everyone. I'm Kelly Wright. Welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. I'm Jamie Colby. Great to have you with us. And topping the news this hour, Good there morning, are new... everyone. I'm Eric Sean, and welcome to America's News Headquarters. Good to hear they're taking those steps oh, today yeah. for all of us. I'm Jamie Colby. Great to have you here. This travel alert follows the... There is a possible humanitarian crisis now that is unfolding in Libya. The International Red Cross... So, uh, you know, he's getting a lot of attention, a lot of media attention because of this uh, campaign and because of his recent wins, and I'll have to see how it goes as this campaign unfolds. Always interesting. And he was discussing Herman Cain, his recent poll surge on Fox News Sunday. Here's his take. Good, um, tip, at least better to know and get checked mm -hmm. yeah. to, that the connection is there. All right, a potential new way to help kick the habit. If you've been watching House Call all these years and you are still smoking, you got to pay attention now. You got to quit. And there's a new way, and it's not that expensive. There's research on a new tablet sold in Eastern Europe. It's been going on for more than four decades, and it shows that a plant based medicine can triple smokers' chances of quitting. Doc, we got everybody's attention. Yeah. Uh, Doc, the thing about B12 that I think is interesting is there was another line mm -hmm. to uh, the research that we had that said that if you have a low level of B12, you can have, you ready for this, mm -hmm. folks? Brain shrinkage. Your, your brain can shrink. Who wants that, hmm. Doc? Really? Well, I don't. Uh... Everybody's at risk for bed bugs. And there's a new study that shows you should be more concerned about the insecticides that they use to get rid hmm. of them. That's a lose lose situation. Doc, what's the deal? Yeah, you know, bed bugs are obviously not pleasant companions. Come back, everybody. Uh, Bottom of the hour, time for the top of the news. A month long. Right. right, that's a good question to ask your doctor then about mm -hmm. potatoes before yeah. you start mm -hmm. medication. Mm -hmm. Don't abandon your medication, though, if you're mm -hmm. already on it. Talk to your doctor. A couple of servings a day. Okay, Doc, right after the show. Meanwhile, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control issuing a new study, and they are urging children and teens and their parents to drink low fat milk to prevent obesity and the risk of type 2 diabetes. Now, Doc, you say this information is really important for teenage girls, especially why? That's what until, that's, you know, winter yeah, comes, everyone yeah. starts to get the flu, get the and then you think you have to get the now. shot. We will. Absolutely. Okay. Doctor, thank you so Doctor, much. You. As Pleasure. always. Pleasure. And for those of you, if you're interested in any more Welcome information... Welcome to a brand new hour of America's News Headquarters. I'm Eric Sean. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jamie Colby. This is a brand new hour. Good to have you here. The U.S. gains against terror on the battlefield, backed by a deadly tool in the American arsenal. Julie, are they going to come back? Yeah, well, Jamie, they've been demonstrating for two weeks, holding signs in protest of everything from corporate greed and social inequality to global warming. It had been peaceful until clashes with police began yesterday after they swarmed. City, a core group of about 200 people have remained camped out throughout the week, sleeping on air mattresses, using Mac laptops and playing drums. A few times a day, they marched down the street, uh, down to Wall Street, yelling, this is what democracy looks like. Jamie? Thanks, Julie. Uh, figure this one out. So many lives at risk of American yeah. soldiers and others. Thanks so much. General Jack Keane, always a pleasure. Nice to have you here. Okay, Jamie. As for the Sunday Eric? morning, I'm Eric Sean. I'm Jamie Colby. Great to have you here. A busy two hours, oh, huh, Eric? Yeah. Well, we're going to send you to Washington now where the news continues. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again for being here. Take care. Good morning, everyone. I'm Eric Sean, and welcome to America's News Headquarters. Good to hear they're taking those steps oh, today yeah. for all of us. I'm Jamie Colby. Great to have you here. This travel alert for follows for the, the Sunday killing. morning. I'm Eric Sean. I'm Jamie Colby. Great to have you here. A busy two hours, oh, huh, Eric? Yeah. Well, we're going to send you to Washington now, where the news continues. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again for being here. Take care. Hello, everyone. I'm Kelly Wright. Welcome to America's News Headquarters. Hi, everybody. I'm Jamie Colby. And topping the news this hour, there are possible new leads. Oh, joining the ranks of about 34 other states. It's a no texting and driving law. So you see two very distinct sides of the story here. On one hand, car makers are satisfying the customers with these new technologies, but safety advocates say it's still distracting for the drivers. Jamie? All right, thank you so much, Elizabeth Pran, live in Doctor, Atlanta. Is that in the research that I read, the man who invented the test to test for prostate cancer, even he feels that not everybody should have the test. But what's the harm in having a test? You either get good news or you find out you have something you have to watch or you find out you have prostate cancer. Hello, everyone. Cancer. I'm Kelly Wright. Welcome to America's News Headquarters. Hi, everybody. I'm Jamie Colby. And topping the news this hour, there are possible new leads. Well, there the are new questions emerging this morning about the Obama administration's backing of Failed solar panel maker. Buddy, great Excellent. to see you today. I'm Jamie Colby. And I'm Eric Sean. Good morning, Jamie. Good, Good to morning, see you Eric. as we do every Sunday. And welcome 
to America's news headquarters on this Sunday morning. You know, the latest questions surround the... It has happened yet again. Presidential hopeful Herman Cain enjoying another strong showing among voters this week. Cain taking what does he need to do to stay in the spotlight and keep the spread. David Drucker is a staff Sunday, I'm Eric Sean. I'm Jamie Colby. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks great for being here. Great to see here. you today. I'm Jamie Colby. And I'm Eric Sean. Good morning, Jamie. Good, Good to morning, see Eric. you, as we do every Sunday. And welcome to America's News Headquarters on this Sunday morning. You know, the latest questions around the, the Sunday, I'm Eric Sean. I'm Jamie Colby. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for being here.